Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I am creating a Christmas card for the Cut It Up Challenge where the theme is Layer It Up. And I am definitely doing some layering on this card. I have some black card bases with some red layering paper. That red layering paper is from Colorbach. Then I have this fun pattern paper from Dacosta's Dynamite Doodles, Nature of Christmas. Then I have my layering pieces for my die cuts, and that's all listed below, but I have some snowflake pieces and the bird pieces. So I'm going to start out just by layering the card here by putting the red pattern paper, again from Colorbach, Wild Rose. I'm going to start out by just adhering that to the black card base. My card is going to measure four and a quarter by five and a half when it's finished. Here I'm adhering the piece from Nature of Christmas. Again, Dacasa's Dynamite Doodles. It's all linked below if you want to find these pieces. And here are the die cuts, little snowflakes. And when I say little, I mean little. I'm using my Zig two-way pen. I'm using it because I have the option of making it really, really small. It, you know, it'll come out just in little itty bitty beads and it won't get all over. However, it does. I have an issue later and you're going to find out how I remedy that. All I'm doing here is just layering my red piece on top of the black cardstock because the paper is somewhat thin. So I wanted to give it a little more substance. I'm going to take my black and white snowflake now and put it on top of the card. And I'm putting my little red cardinal on there just to see what he's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that snowflake with some ATG and then a little bit of fabric tack. I like to use fabric tack over my ATG just to give me wiggle room in case I don't like where it goes. Now you may have just seen in this picture that there was a little glue splotch there. I didn't notice it at that point, but I do later. All right, I'm coming in with some silver pigment ink, which I haven't used this in a long time. I don't know why I don't use it, it's so pretty. I decided that this would blend my little cardinal in a little better. So I went around the edges just to make them blend in just a little bit with my background. I'm using a sponge to put that on so that I can make sure I get into the little crevice there under his head. I came in with this blue gem and I didn't like it. So what I did is I went around it with some black Copic marker and then I liked it. Here's a little trick. If you end up getting too much glue on your embellishments, which I always do, if you put it just a little bit on your finger and then just dip it in, sometimes that's a little easier to work with and control. All right, it wouldn't be one of my videos without some cereal box, right? So I'm just cutting a little piece of cereal box, actually two, to layer up my bird. And this is where I notice I've got a big glue splotch. So here's a hint for you. If you have a high polymer eraser, sometimes you can erase some of that glue away. Now, I couldn't get it all erased away, so I strategically placed my little bird over what I couldn't erase. All right, so there's my hint for you. I'm going ahead and adding my cereal box and putting a little fabric tack on there and I will adhere him on top of the snowflake. So now I'm getting plenty of layers on this card. Hey, thanks again for joining me. I hope you picked up a hint or two. Come join us at Cut It Up with your layered projects. Remember to include a die cut. We'd love to see your creativity over there at that challenge. All the materials are listed below. Any comments or questions, you can leave those for me. Hey, have a great week and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye.